Hey. We're in rock. But it's sunshine state. <laughs> Gobblers on the island. It's looking good. So turkey season in Mississippi doesn't really get cranked up till mid-March and uh, you know we, we had that itch considering duck season was kind of lackluster. Uh, I met Justin Strickland a couple years ago at NWTF and he had invited us to come to Florida and uh, with kind of a window on our schedule uh, to go do something we figured hey let's go check out Sunshine State. So that night, a uh, big storm rolled in, uh, and I think for Florida in March, is that's kind of not very typical, uh, but storm rolled in and was bad at daylight, and we waited till a little bit after daylight, right after the storm left, and went in and tried to strike up a gobbler, but it was crickets. End up. These gobblers got like seven or eight hens with them. They're not gobbling. Won't pay us any attention. A bunch of Indians down here in Florida we might have to just crawl them. <laughs> The first day, you know, it uh, that storm blew through and we kind of went out right at the tail end of it. It was still kind of misty, still kind of drizzling rain. Never heard a turkey on the roost, never heard a turkey gobble. We bounced around to a couple different spots. We found a gobbler that was, you know, had six or seven hens with him and he wasn't gobbling and he wasn't coming to us. And uh, man, that was just kind of the story of the day, just bouncing around, trying to get one struck up. but. Uh, I think that whole day we didn't hear a single gobble. 100 yards, maybe. Yeah, so if you can get like right almost to that road, yep. like 20 yards and just tuck yep. to the side. Yeah. I will I'll just send you three. They're all stuck in this way already. They're already past the camera. Yeah, they're, they're, past they're the coming camera. this way. Well, they might come this way. So that first afternoon, uh, uh, our Mississippi brethren, uh, Matt Persons and Ross showed up. Uh, Matt brings a turkey with him in his back pocket, but uh, even he couldn't couldn't get a turkey struck up that afternoon. It was it was uh they were they were tight lipped. Well, got my stars and stripes on underneath. Time to go sleep on getting one's way, I guess. Huh? I wish you could yelp on that. Heavy probably made, right? I told Brooks last night. I, Braxton. I told Brooks last night we had the best turkey yelper <laughs> that I know, besides myself. <laughs> out there and couldn't yelp that turkey in yesterday. He was there 15 or 20 minutes before we got there. There we go, pet one. You sure? I'm ready to pet one. Time to go get on the clock. Got, got friend over here. Drink a peppermint bark coffee. Justin had uh, known where this turkey was roosted and we kind of just went all in on them. Uh, we knew they weren't gobbling much, and we got in there, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes before uh, it broke day, uh, got in there in his bedroom, and Justin kind of, he said, he was like, they ought to be roosted right here. And he meant it by right here. They were right there on top of us when he gobbled.
scale of ready to hear one guy while I was at a zero. I, I might as well have been inside my house <laughs> mentally. <laughs> and when he gobbled, I about had a heart attack. <laughs> Congrats, Bob. He's directly over Ross and him back there. It was like. That's the Octavius Ross after, after it's over. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. That was awesome. Me and Trace, Justin, and Matt, we kind of got set up where we figured the turkeys would pitch down uh, and the rest of the crew just kind of hung back so they wouldn't mess anybody up and uh, the tree they hung back on ended up being the tree the turkey was in. Ross said he felt like a piece of bark hit him from the turkey walking around on the limb. He was about 30 yards directly above us and I say directly above us. I said, right there. Ross said, Just hey, which way was he? Did you hear that? Yeah, which way was he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right here. I kept saying there's a turkey <laughs> gobbling like down there. That ain't, that ain't, he gobbled and he looked at he me gobbled. I said, he is right above us. <laughs> <laughs> I said, like, I'm talking about right. I mean, you could hear the echo like in the this, gobble. Like this oh. above us. Day, day three, uh, Strick knew where some turkeys had been roosting and we kind of went all in on them right at daylight we heard something kind of walking towards us and next thing you know dang wild hog comes out and you know it's Florida you know there's there's bears and panthers and hogs and there's everything you can imagine down there gators snakes So right after that, out of nowhere, I kind of catch the movement and I'm like, what is that? And then two sandhill cranes with a baby sandhill uh, walk up on us and that's, that's for sure something you don't see back home in Mississippi. We hunted right up to the last minute. We uh, get on the plane and go home and right as we're taking off, Eddie gets a text from Matt, a video of Ross killing one. So. Man, I, he, he was kind of right there with us and it was, it was good that he got it done. Whenever you're ready. <laughs>